On a story we've been telling you about for more than three years. Yesterday, Edith Espinal left the sanctuary of a church to meet with immigration officials. Tom Bosco has the story. After three years, Edith Espinal will no longer have to sleep in this church away from her family. Now, her immigration problems are not yet resolved, but she calls today the first step at getting her life back. <laughs> After three years hiding in plain sight, the meeting that granted Edith Espinal her freedom lasted less than an hour. I'm really happy to have, today I can go to my home and thank you everyone for being here. The feds ordered Espinal to be deported to her native Mexico more than three years ago. Instead, she took refuge at a Clintonville church, a place that agents would not pursue her due to government policy. But now, with a new president in office, it was time to test the waters and see if immigration officials would relent. Just leaving the church to get to the Westerville office was a risk. It's risky because if ICE wants to, they can't detain her. But with supporters mm -hmm. looking on and praying, <laughs> and her dog Bella in her arms, Edith and her team met with immigration officials to argue her case. It's the same argument they've given the feds for years. We've been telling ICE for a long time. This is a woman who has lived in Columbus, Ohio, going back over 20 years. She has two U.S. citizen kids. No new argument, but a new presidential administration leads to a reprieve for Edith. ICE officials say her deportation is no longer a high priority. She'll have to check in with them periodically, but they say they won't pursue her and deport her. Critics say, why not just become a citizen? Her attorney says because of a labyrinth of immigration laws, she'd have to leave the country for 10 years first. It's complicated. It's not as easy as, you know, go ahead and... and file something. Instead, she'll be allowed to stay in Columbus in her own home. I'm happy now to get my life back. There's more to come on this, but today, a first step for Edith Espinal. In Westerville, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6.